continue our Commitment 2014 coverage with a profile of Democratic gubernatorial candidate Anthony Brown. After serving alongside Governor Martin O'Malley for eight years, Anthony Brown is certainly hoping that a win on November 4th will headline his own administration. That's right. I sat down with him recently to find out what's driving this push for the number one job in Annapolis. The short version, his parents. I still remember that I landed on that tarmac in, at the Baghdad International Airport at 10.20 in the morning and it was 118 degrees. After more than 10 years, Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown can still tick off details of his tour of duty in Iraq. Ten months stationed in Baghdad as an Army officer. He earned a Bronze Star for his service. It helped shape him as a person, the 52-year-old Democrat says, but says his parents have been the strongest influence. And just the idea that you're, you're constantly in service and giving back as much as you can. Anthony Brown is a first-generation American. Born and raised on Long Island, his father is from Jamaica, his mother from Switzerland. My mother, um, you know, as, as much as I'd sometimes be embarrassed from time to time, she was always in the elementary school building um, as a volunteer. Anthony Brown attended Harvard on an ROTC scholarship, served five years on active duty flying helicopters before going back to Cambridge for Harvard Law. He was elected to the state legislature in 1998. <laughs> After two terms as lieutenant governor in the O'Malley administration, Anthony Brown wants to take over the C-suite at the state house. You know, number one priority for Maryland's next governor, it'll be my priority is jobs, jobs, and jobs. He wants voters to know he's proud of his accomplishments and counts health care reform as one of them. And it's in that change, that difficulty, that adversity, where I think you see the true test of leadership. And when it came to the exchange, uh, we didn't bail out. You know, we, we, we dove in. Deep into the final days of his campaign for governor, time is at a premium for this husband, father, and stepfather. Often you hear people talk about traditional and blended. I think in so many households, blend is becoming the tradition or the norm. That PG County household also includes his 87-year-old mother. She moved in a few months ago and is seen out at events. Full circle moments which are not lost on Anthony Brown. When my parents came to this country, you know, they, they came for, you know, a better way of life for themselves uh, and, and for their kids. Um, but they also came because they wanted to make a contribution uh, to the greatness that is America. Uh, and I think that my, um, my father uh, would look at me today uh, and uh, my mother would look at me today and say, we're really proud of the contribution that you're making. For someone who's usually so controlled, he got choked up there talking about his mom. He's earned a lot of labels over the years. The newest one, retired colonel. In July, he quietly retired as a colonel in the Army Reserve after 30 years of service. If you missed our profile piece on the Republican nominee, Larry Hogan, you can watch that over on our website, WBALTV.com. And that's also where you can stay up to date with the latest Commitment 2014 reports online. And make sure to check out our free mobile app, complete with iTeam campaign reports, as well as videos from the campaign trail.